Okay, hello. I wanted to make a short video to show some of the equipment that I'll bring, be bringing on the trek. Um, this video would represent the equipment that I'll personally be bringing. It's not in any way a complete um, list or a complete, uh, you know, pack. And you could certainly take a few things out or bring a few more things for comfort. In fact, I may choose to leave a few things behind at the last minute, but I wanted to show you at least what I'm planning on bringing. So I'll walk you through it. So everything on the right side of the bed uh, is my stuff. Um, so I've got my pack here. This is a Gregory uh, Triconi 60 liter pack. Uh, bigger pack than you need. Uh, I don't plan on bringing 60 liters, but it's the pack I've got, so I'm using it. It's got uh, decent uh, strapping at the back, or excuse me, padding. So it's uh, quite a comfortable pack to wear, good supportive for this level. Uh, I've got a rain fly down here, tucked up. I've got the two trekking poles which will be on the side and based on the terrain I'll probably be using quite a bit on this trek. So um, got one pair of shorts here, got one pair of pants which uh, zip off into shorts and I've got another pair of pants here that are rainproof pants or waterproof. Um, these ones I'm debating about because they're fairly heavy um, but I did wear them uh, recently in the rain, they're like a Mountain Equipment Co-op Gore-Tex pant and they're fantastic and you could hike very comfortably in them in pouring rain. Um, so I'm bringing a pair of gloves, fairly lightweight, fleece type gloves and a fleece hat. Uh, the temperatures uh, at higher altitudes are going to be, it looks like around 8 or 10 degrees and the hat may be not required but the gloves last time when I was in Switzerland holding on to a uh, steel cable in certain areas, uh, your hands get pretty darn cold so those are uh, useful. Underwear, socks, I'm only bringing two pairs of socks. Uh, I find uh, if you wear them for a couple days you kind of break them in, they get a bit sm smelly but uh, all good. Uh, I got a small thing here of electronics, uh, camera charger, headphones, uh, iPhone plug. Uh, it's a little bit big for what it is, but it'll keep it all together in the bag. I've got the iPhone here. I'm going to make a separate post about that to talk about um, what I'm doing in terms of uh, a, a foreign SIM uh, to use in Austria. Uh, but I'll be bringing this iPhone, unlocked iPhone 3G that a friend of mine loaned me. Got a little towel here. Uh, little adventure towel. It's a quick dry towel, uh, really just for drying your hair and that sort of thing. Um, got a small pocket knife here. Um, again, debating whether I'll bring that, but uh, you know, it's always good to have a knife uh, for cutting things, even something as simple as a uh, food. Uh, camera case for the camera, which uh, you saw in the mirror there. Um, passport, which really doesn't just a reflection, I put it there of what's going to go in the bag because you know you have to account for everything. I'm going to have my bladder here. It's a two-liter bladder. Um, that'll probably be pretty good for how for the temperature. Uh, I'd prefer a three-liter bladder, so I might get one of those in the future. Rain shell, very very important. It'll keep uh, extra layer, you know, just to keep you warm, keep the wind off you. Uh, as far as upper body, I'm bringing one long sleeve sort of like dry fitty type shirt. Uh, this one's from Mech. And another uh, two shirts underneath here that are, again are like a breathable or quick drying type. Um, you could probably get away depending on how long you're going with uh, only two of these shirts, maybe one long sleeve, one short sleeve. Uh, however, since you're going to be in the hut and uh, you know you want to be going down to eat dinner with other people or breakfast, uh, it'd be nice to wear something that doesn't stink. <laughs> So I'll leave that one up to you. Uh, this is just sitting here, at, uh, but these are the boots I'll be bringing. Uh, they won't be in the pack. I'll be wearing them. Um, first aid kit, that's very much a personal choice uh, in terms of how big you bring it, but I bought this one from Mountain Equipment Co-op, and uh, this is what's showing here. These uh, reskin, those are Cheryl's. Um, so it's a fairly decent uh, pack. I think the whole thing, everything in it weighs about a kilo. So... Um, Again, you could take certain things out, but that's a very much a preference item. And then these are just to some sort of like down booties that I'm bringing because they can basically be folded down tight like a down jacket. I'm going to wear those in the hut um, instead of bringing a second pair of shoes. It's a little bit more of a comfort thing, and I'm not really sure. Well, when I was in Switzerland, some of the huts, you know, they didn't really mind if you brought... Um, if you wore socked feet down to dinner, but they definitely don't want you wearing boots like this, especially if they're dirty. Um, so that's going to be more of a comfort thing. So that'll be pack up quite easily. So that's uh, basically it for gear. Uh, hopefully nothing much more than this, uh, with the exception of some snacks and um, 
yeah, uh, I will put up some information, written information after specifying how much all this weighs and what I decided to cut out. Unfortunately, I don't have a scale at the moment. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon.